So when I tell you that things work out when you stay positive and do what you have to do, do the hard stuff, things start working out for you. So I am about to be fully through with the process of um, my business venture that I'm doing and I'm so excited. Something came in the mail today that has me all excited, you guys. And I just wanted to celebrate it and remind you guys to stay positive, do hard shit, do things that are scary, don't give up, and things work out, I'm telling you. So go for it. Go for something that you thought you might not be able to do. Whatever the case, just go after what you want. Go after what you want because you can do it. You can get it. So without further ado... Ketoers, get out your chopsticks for a quick and easy recipe that your whole family will love. So for today, I'm going to be making a stir fry that could easily go over cauliflower rice for the low carb people and over regular rice for the kids. I'm starting out with some bell pepper and onion. I've got my wok getting warm and I just washed it so I'm letting the water dry out in there and then I have some sauce I use um, soy sauce and I use a little coconut amino because it adds some sweetness and I don't want to add sugar to our food I did also add a little bit of my artificial sweetener just to give it a sweet a little bit of a sweet taste and once I get <clears throat> my pan nice and hot and get the oil in there I'm gonna add a little xanthan gums just so that It'll make the sauce a little more biscuits, like in traditional Chinese food. And last but not least, I do have some green beans that I'm going to be stir-frying in there. And they were just frozen green beans that I thawed out a little bit in the microwave. So that there's not so much water. And I'll probably rinse some more of this ice off. And I'll let you guys see once we get started. So I have a tablespoon of coconut oil in my pan and I'm going to get that going and with coconut oil you, you kind of have to be careful because it will burn so I'm going to go ahead and so I'm going to go ahead and add the xanthan gum and I just sprinkle that on and move it around just so it can stay incorpor get incorporated and then I'm going to go ahead and add my veggies and I want to be careful So I went ahead and started seasoning. I always like to season my veggies just to get the flavor to start coming out of the food. So I went ahead and got my chicken in. And I'm using chicken thighs today. I usually prefer chicken wings, but this is for my kids. And they, um, a lot of people tend to like dark meat because it's juicier tends to dry out less than the chicken breast, so I went ahead and went with chicken thighs for my kids. And so we're going to let this cook up, and then I'll let you guys see the next step. I didn't anticipate that I had quite so much chicken, so I noticed that it's getting a lot of um, water from the vegetables and the chicken. So I'm going to drain off some of this juice. I'm going to use some of it for our sauce because it has our xanthan gum in it and try to get some darkness on the chicken. So now that I was able to get a lot of the liquid out and get some browning going on some of the chicken, I'm going to go ahead and add in our green beans. 
and then add our salt. And we have a nice weeknight dinner. And if you look with the xanthan gum, you see how it, it made the sauce more sticky and it stick into the veggies and the chicken. That's just what we want to happen. Here is our final product.